channels like the ZTV that was never heard of, Sony was never heard of, and they have half a dozen sort of a, a channels now. The ITV has to take a lesson from those and get on with the job. I generally believe that if we went out more into these communities and, and sought out the good stories as well as the bad stories, people would welcome us more in the area. Uh, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like we we're going undercover to do something secret or dirty. We'd just be there filming like we always are. Her husband Guo Bing Long rang his wife and said he was going to die. His mother couldn't cope with the loss of her son and the mounting debts. She came here, swallowed poison, and is now buried next to her son. The only way we were going to be able to tell that story was by making a connection with the Chinese community, and in particular, a Chinese team based out in Fujian province from where the Chinese cockle pickers had come. It was through those connections and through that we were able to go out there, film, and tell some incredibly powerful and emotive tales that when they were broadcast at the end of the trial, made a huge impact and a huge connection with our audience. No matter how it starts, no matter how it ends, I won't let you down, I won't let you down. Lots of ideas, lots of good suggestions, you know, the, the people on the panel want to make it work. Um, and I think with that commitment and that desire, they will make it work. We shouldn't be looking at stories on screen and sort of saying, well, that'll tick a few boxes. It's more about making sure that there's a rich vein of diverse contributors running through all of our news and non-news programmes. Well, for me, it was uh, a really positive day. Um, I made a lot of contacts. I met uh, people that I never thought I'd be meeting. Uh, I think, from my point of view, for ITV, it was a point in the right direction about introducing diversity and having that contact. Well, the conference focused on terrorism, and at the moment, the Muslim community is not very trusting of the media and its handling of the topic. So firstly, it was a great surprise that they were even asking someone from the media to chair the debate. And secondly, it was a great coup for us to be asked over all other media organisations, really. I just think it's testament to all the work that we've been doing on our various diversity initiatives and the fact that we've built up enough of a relationship that they're not just inviting us to cover the story but actually to be involved in the organisation and pretty much steer the event. The biggest winners are not going to be Yorkshire TV or otherwise, I think it's going to be the community and that's the main thing. Here at Anglia Network Factual Department, we film across major cities in the US and across the world where we're working with multicultural societies. Back here in Norwich, we actively seek ITV's diversity alongside Anglia News to promote diversity in a positive manner. This is a community that's now got a worldwide problem with its reputation all around the globe. People are talking about this area as being a possible hotbed for terrorism. But when the media go away, will this community recover? Well, earlier we filmed these two characters, perhaps an indicator of the true community relations here. All the Asian are down there, and they said, they said, do you know George? Oh, yes, we know George. I've been invited to two, I've been to two of their weddings as well, when their children, yeah, their daughters yeah, got married. Because really? really? that's what they think of me. And they're talking to me, and they said, well, George, they said, you, they call you George. I said, yeah. I said, but now, I said, I'm the Baba Raja of Alan Rock. <laughs> you seem laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call him? <laughs> Better Raja. The Baba Raja of Alan Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you've been, no matter where you go, I won't let you down, I won't let you down. I think it's um, slightly sterile. I think they show what they feel they have to show. I don't feel they show anywhere near enough as they should show. Um, I feel that the regional programming is OK, but I also feel it's restricted because they feel they have to show a certain amount of hours a week.
the news is there and uh, it only needs people to go out and get it.